Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. Today I'm here on my low level account. We're gonna do an operation attack and then jump into a map clearing session. So buckle down, it's gonna be a fun video. So first, let's scout out some bases. Also, if you wanna join our task force, here it is. Come join, have fun, and let's try to be more active and hit some higher operations. Now I try my best to do attacks, but people in my task force will know I've been pretty I've been lacking the last couple weeks, so <laughs> I am jumping back on and I'm gonna try this attack and I don't know how it's gonna go. Maybe you're happy I haven't been attacking. We'll see what happens. So just scouting out these bases, it's gonna be tough trying to get a solo in here. I would really, really, really love to solo a base right now, but me being on my little level 49 account, I kind of doubt that's going to happen. So I'm gonna try my best to just steal as much damage to the core as we can. Let's do a Machina hit. Now, I have not done one of these attacks in a very long time, a very long time. So we're gonna boost up a lot of stuff. I don't wanna die by a mine, so I boosted up my health also. This is gonna be super, super interesting doing an operation attack. Like I said, I haven't done an operation attack in a long time, but Machina, I think that's how you say it. I haven't done one of those attacks in an even longer time. It's been, it's been a very long time since I've done an attack on this base. So I don't know how it's going to go. I'm gonna try my best. Let's just jump into it. Let's see what happens. The biggest thing is knowing which mines you need to take out. And I don't really know which mines need to get taken out. So I'm just gonna drop a bunch of barrages and let's hope I can uh, clear a path to the core and see if I can take out the core. So like I said, I, I don't really know what mines need to be taken out, so I'm just gonna try my best to uh, clear as many as I can. It's probably not a good idea. I'm thinking we'll take out these, take out those, we're gonna scoot along the edge and we'll take out that clump. Okay, this is looking better, I think I can do this. I only have 82 energy, so we really have to Oh, frick, that was a nasty smoke. That was very, very bad. I'm not used to this side launch, and we're gonna run out of this smoke also. Get that flare back, got another smoke out. Just in time, this is already off to a very, 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 very bad start. I am losing energy pretty fast. Let's try to do one smoke at the end, and let's see what happens here. So I'm gonna flare over here. I just have to save as much energy as I possibly can right now, so I'm being a little bit risky. Two shocks, exactly what's needed. I'm gonna lose all my Zookas on that side, and let's uh, try to hit the core. This was a very, very bad attack. I feel really bad, but I cleared the mines for the next person, and if I had more energy, I would have been able to deal a lot more damage. I would have took out more mines, I would have boosted up my hero, I would have destroyed half that base easily. That's okay. To show you I'm decent with all Zookas, let's do some player base attacks, attacking them with all Zookas. <laughs> I'm just, I'm very disappointed in myself for that landing. I, <laughs> I don't know if I've done a worse landing with all Zookas before. I've definitely, I definitely have, but it was a very bad landing. Typically, when you're using all Zookas, you want to use as few smokes as possible on the beach. Obviously, if you're using any troop, that should be your goal. And for me, though, I wasted too many smokes. I think I spent 30 extra smokes, which is maybe about 30 extra energy. Not quite 30, a little under, maybe like 25 extra energy I wouldn't have had to spend. That's another shock. That's another critters to clear mines. Um, it would have helped me tremendously if I had just uh, not screwed up the landing. Like I said, I had never really done one of those attacks in a very long time. I would say I've only hit that base maybe like three times maximum. It, I really have not hit that base, but that's no excuse. I definitely should have been a little better. I think the landing definitely screwed me over, but we're gonna move past it, now I know how to attack it. I would love to attack it in a future video and just absolutely dominate it. So let's hope that happens. Here's a level 68. We'll try to defeat this player with all Zookas. We're gonna park up here, flare down to the core. 
Uh, we just have to make sure all the mines are clear. Just looking at the mine placement. Um, we're gonna drop a barrage here. I'm gonna take down that mine and that mine. That should be fine. Get my troops out. Okay, this is gonna be a pretty chill landing. Um, there is a rocket launcher right there, but we're just barely out of range, so I think we're gonna slide by. Uh, I see mine in there, we're gonna take out. Okay, we're gonna lose my hero, that's okay. I'm just gonna keep dropping mines. I have so much energy, this is beautiful. Definitely what killed me was uh, spending all my energy taking down mines. And now the mines are cleared. Honestly, no reason the next person shouldn't solo if they're above a level 48. Okay, we're at the core, perfect. Let's get some critters, a few shocks out. Kind of spacing them out a little so I have a little more time. It's a pretty high level core, but no match for all Zookas. Barely took it out. That machine gun honestly took me, took out way more troops than I thought it would, but able to take out Boomer, level 68, easy. I did lose almost my entire army, but we still beat him, so I don't really care. Okay, here's a level 53. Let's uh, jump in and try attacking him. Drop a barrage on the mines. Take down the mines first. Don't be like me and miss a mine. Um, in my last attack, which I am a little bit surprised we didn't miss, uh, we didn't miss any mines or hit any mines in my operation attack. I mean, obviously we hit mines at the very end. I'm talking about the walk up. There's nothing we really could have done about the mines at the very end, I feel like. I did not have any more energy to regroup or do anything, so I didn't really have a choice there. But um, that's okay though, because we're gonna recover. I definitely should have shocked the shock launcher instead of the rocket launchers, it doesn't matter. I have so much damage right now, I'm just able to dominate players. Level 53 though, that's not very high. I am a little bit sad I'm so low in medals. I used to be like 630 medals on this account and now I'm down to 500. I just haven't been doing the same attacks and it sucks because my videos then are me attacking players my own level and players my own level are too easy for me. I like the challenge of higher players but I just haven't had the time to push. But trust me, as soon as I get HQ20, I will find the time to push because HQ20 is when it all changes. I just unlock a whole new set of uh, abilities at that level. I get my last landing craft. I can upgrade all my landing crafts again to get like seven Zookas or eight Zookas in each boat, which is crazy, or sorry, uh, warriors in each boat, which is crazy. At that point, everything will change. My base will literally get so much stronger as soon as you hit HU20, that's what happens. So I'm very excited for that, and I think every day I'll try to clear my map and we'll push right back up to the 600, the dreaded 600 metal mark. And the reason I say dreaded is because at 600 metals, everything changes. The matchmaking system on how you get matched up with players is completely changed. Uh, at that point so that's why I'm so excited because I'll start getting players that are level 71 again I haven't seen oh freck me oh no <laughs> oh no we have like 10 zookas left can we do this though that is the question okay gonna use critters I'm gonna shock some stuff Nothing can hit my Zookas. I need all the Zookas I can. Put the next box of Zookas down, or Critters down. Drop another Shock. It's not looking good. We were able to defeat over half the core with like 10 Zookas. So, I mean, how crazy is that? That's insane. We almost beat a core with 10 Zookas in HQ68 to be exact. Let's just attack them again and just... Uh, destroy them, because that's what we do. So we're going to do pretty much the same landing. I think that worked good. Uh, flare back. I'm trying to think, what killed my Zookas in the last battle? Oh, it was the hot pot here. That's definitely it. Okay, we just have to make sure we don't split my smokes too much now. Yeah, this is already looking better. A much better walk up, saving a lot more energy. We're just gonna get behind the core, 
activate my hero, flare to the core, and just wreck the core. This base literally does not stand a chance. If I almost beat it with 10 Zookas, imagine how strong all of my Zookas is going to be. Look at that, just dominating the base. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. My failed operation attack, but we're back at it. I showed you guys my skills, not really, in the player bases. I say not really because we didn't really have any high level players to attack. So soon, soon though guys, I'm slowly pushing my way to HQ uh, 20. I need to be level 50 to get there. So we're making progress. Let's do a couple upgrades, try to get some more experience. We'll destroy this and we'll place down that guardian. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like if you did and I will talk to you guys in the next Boom Beach video. Bye.